Hey everybody, welcome back to another laundromat review video. Uh, today we'll be checking out a random U.S. city. And usually what we do is we try to find one of the top rated laundromats in that city. And uh, we do the Google Street View, check out the photos inside, check out the reviews, and uh, we do a final conclusion on the laundromat. So if this is your first time watching one of these videos, welcome. If you watch a lot of these, um, enjoy the video. All right, so we're on the random city generator. We're going to uh, run it again. And whatever number three is right here in the top, uh, we'll do that city. So let's see what we got. San Bernardino, California. Let's find a good laundromat there and uh, see what it's all about. So just on Google Street Maps, first one I see is Coinless Laundry. Uh, they put in new car readers. Now it's easy to use. We're not going to do that one. I don't even like that name. I think there's always a, you know, a spot for coins. These new card stores, I'm, I'm not really a fan of. So let's see what we got here. 4.1, 4.0, 4.7, 4.1, Happy Coin Laundry, Launder Land, 3.8, Launder Land's temporarily closed, West, East, and they might have moved locations. All oh, this coinless laundry is uh eight six six e base. Oh, go see a different location. Sunshine coin op, karma coin wash, arrow laundry. Let's check out uh launder land. It's got a website. Let's check out the website and uh see what the store is all about. Loading, loading, loading. Okay. Just your generic uh, website. Open till 10 o'clock. Testimonials. Second time here. Looks like, oh, it's a Speed Queen store. Yes. I think it's a Speed Queen store. These are Speed Queen washers. Dryers, I can't read what that says. But it looks like Speed Queen. Let's zoom in here. It definitely does not say Speed Queen. Not Speed Queen, Speed Queen knockoff. Let's see here. Sissel? What the heck is Sissel? Oh my gosh. These are Speed Queen machines. Look at them. Alright, well, let me know uh, in the comments below what Sissel is. Let's go back to the website. I like this. Straight to the point. Pictures. Uh, looks like laundry bag, soap stop, changer. These soap stops, once they get old, man, I wish there was a, a skin or uh, some sort of sticker you can buy and just put it over the whole top and uh, refresh it because and they just look old, the cream color. They get faded. Directions, 6 o'clock to 10 o'clock. See is anything else? Let's see if you, is there a phone number? Yeah, phone number. Okay, pretty basic website. It is a laundromat. Uh, the one real big thing I look for, you gotta have pictures on your main page of the laundromats. So people know what's going on. You don't need stock photos or anything like that. Looks like some uh, VCT tile. I don't know if it's dirt or what. Well, it looks like it can get waxed. But let's check out the Google pictures. Uh, I think we're already. Alright, let me go here. 
So let's see. Let's go start with that one and go over. I don't know about these Sissel machines. They're knockoff speed queens. $1 outlet. I don't know what that's about. Wait. $1 outlet and coin laundry. Oh no, Launderland coin laundry. Okay, it's got the green walls. Not a fan, but doesn't look bad. Business hours definitely change. Another 6 to 10. According to the website, at least. Oh, you know what? They don't have the picture of these top loaders on the on Google. I haven't seen those on the website either. Looks like a whole row of top loaders. Okay. So three Sissel machines. Big Speed Queen, six loaders. Oh, they got two rows of top loaders. One here, back to back. Okay, now they... Uh, This is a closed washing facility. Please do not enter except for using machines in this business for washing. One dollar outlet. One twenty five for a top loader. That's pretty cheap. Money changer. At least they got a phone number. For emergencies, that's nice. I don't know what all this crazy sh stuff is. Got some paneling, got a little countertop here. Looks like the old uh, wash and fold window. All right, top load. Oh, it used to be a dollar to wash. Uh, that's really cheap starting January uh, 2020. Bathroom, we got some RMB carts. I don't know what's back here, but I don't know where we are now, but I see a bike. Oh, this must be the front of the store. Cause this this must be the door over here. You got a vending machine, you got a seat here. I'm not really a fan of this seat if uh people walk in and can't even see people here. I don't know if there's windows or not, but So we got bathroom vanity here. Some more of those Sissel dryers. Floor looks kind of dirty in these pictures. Um, you can definitely wax that and clean up those tiles. Looks like some Maytag front loaders here. Uh, I can't tell. These might be Speed Queen here. This store keeps getting bigger and bigger because I think this is right when you walk in. More no, that must be over here. This is a whole nother dryer wall. TV's flush mounted. Kind of like that. Alright, let's see what we got here. I kind of would have liked if they didn't take put Launderland in here. Um, if they just put Coin Laundry. Because it kind of looks like Launderland, Coin Laundry, Smoke Shop. There's not a big difference between these two signs at all. You know, or they could have did a different color. It blends too much. Uh, plenty of parking. Planet Fitness over there. You know, obviously the prime spot. There's four prime spots, but there's other spots back here too. People are bringing laundry in right now. It's nice. All right, let's check out the reviews and uh, see where this is. Four point two. Unbelievable. Either you're limited on quarters or nobody is here to give change. That's weird. The the change machine. The change machine. Sorry about that. The change machine should be loaded up. No excuse for that. Uh, or they can have a a bill breaker. It might be good if it's uh, a dangerous neighborhood. Lots of washers, dryers, four stars, two stars. Yeah, neighborhood. Second time here, I like the place, very clean. 
Be careful, watch your phone and purse and anything else. You know what, if you have a staff member there to keep the riffraff out, I think a lot of these, uh, they're all about a year old. Homeless people, if you had an employee, this wouldn't happen. It's tough. Machines get the job done. The washer leaks water, the dryer's not completely dry, it'll not be going again. Equipment air issue. Friendly staff. I'm surprised, I thought this was fully attended, but looks like it's not. Clean, decent prices. Air conditioning. Oh. Cool cool spot, a lot of weirdos. Just throw change at them until they run away. <laughs> yeah, you gotta clean up the area, man. Keep your keep your uh, laundromat nice. Let's see, dirty equipment is old. There are geeks haunting. <laughs> I don't know what that means. But you definitely don't want geeks geeks haunting your laundromat. Five star, five star. Huh. A lot of five star reviews with no description. This is strange. Huh. A lot of reviews with no description about it. You do not see that a lot. Usually people write a little note about it. That's why I'm uh, wondering if uh, these reviews are real. Man, there's like 25 or 30 that have no description on them. Maybe this is artificially uh, increased. Maybe this is more like a 3.2. But a place like this might need to be attended more often than not. Definitely get a lot of lights on the outside. And, you know... Be right on your property manager. Make sure the place is clean. Um, you know, make sure the, the parking lot's nice and clean. No garbage out there. There was like a Planet Fitness and a lot of other big tenants in that in that plaza. So, um, if you have to, you got to be out there and just chase the people away. You got to keep the customers coming in, and keep them happy. But nice little place. If you guys know what's what's up with these dryers, let me know in the comments below. If not, we'll see you next video.